So Red, we were talking about your missions. We talked about when Fred Cook was lost. The ball turret gunner was blown right out of the plane. And that was the first time any of your original crew were lost, right? Right. Now, through the rest of that summer into August, you were hitting some pretty difficult targets. Genoa, Friedrichshaven, where the jet, German jet planes were being made, Blackhammer, you went back to Budapest on August 9th, you hit Ploesti on August 10th and August 18th. That was one hell of a month in August. Do you remember yes. how that felt, you guys? You were just day after day going up, huh? It felt just like never any rest. So you got back and you would just jump into your bunk and collapse? Or? Just lay down, yeah, most of the time, you know, just, you just automatically just take a nap at least. You just, just horribly, horribly tired just from being on the oxygen mask for so long. Yeah, these missions are about eight hours, right? Uh, at least uh, uh, that long on, 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 on uh, oxygen, yes, mm -hmm. many times. Mm -hmm. Now, on August 24th, 44, the 464th, along with other groups, bombed a city in Czechoslovakia called Pardubis, where there was a lot of oil refineries and other important military targets. And you said that they did their bombing, and then you began to turn for home. And all of a sudden, German fighters attacked the group. So see, tell tell us about see, what happened. Yeah, it seemed like it. They attacked from uh, from nowhere. Nobody hardly seen them. And it seems to me like they was foolish and was down below this time and come up and given us all kinds of trouble. Lost several aircraft until we dawned on everybody and it, each gunner had to change his normal routine just trying to protect himself. And it was real rough. Very, but we lost a lot of men, mm -hmm. good men, and aircraft to it in that one month. And I understand that two more of your original crew died that day. The two waste gunners, Jimmy Wright and John Lynch. That's true. What What do you remember of that? You came down from the flight deck into the back of the plane, and you saw them there. Uh, no, uh, 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 apparently the remainder of the people in the back end and in the air, tail of the aircraft could talk on the intercom up to the pilots at all. And he, uh, he uh, reached over and pitched something on me so, so I could turn around and, go, and then he yelled at me, you better go into the back end, I think they got a problem back there. Something on that order. Mm -hmm. That's when I then went, got down and went back and got up a little, oh maybe like that, there's an opening there with a little door on it. Opened the door and got up in there and turned around and there, there laid the two uh, gun side gunners. Uh, J uh, John Lynch was on the left and Jimmy, uh, because he was just to the right uh -huh. and they both just laying there. Well, on I, the got, I, I got went to them real quick and they were they were both already passed away. It was gone. Well, so they had obviously terrible injuries that uh, yeah. there was nothing you could do for yeah. them. Yeah, and it just made a streak about, oh, I guess, six to eight inches wide along the fuselage of the aircraft, from clear from down to where the, normally the, uh, the tall uh, ball gunner position would have been. And this thing was just torn, clear up to the, almost to the top of the aircraft. So I, I always thought, well, that's what exploded right there. And got the two fellows that was just happened to be, they were standing there. Their, jo their job is to observe on the outside, report to the pilot, you know, as far as the enemy and aircraft and so forth. Yep. Now, the German fighters were still coming at you pretty heavy, and the flak and so forth, and there's lots and lots of damage to the plane such that your hydraulic system yes. was was shot out. So you and Sergeant Dempsey had to go down into the bomb bay. What what did you have to do? What was that about? Uh, we were trying to get the main gear down when, when we came, got near enough back to our home base. So once we cranked that, now what it, it's, it's, it takes a lot of muscle to do it. But what you're doing is actually pulling, releasing the locking mechanism that's holding the main gear on both left and right and the nose gear, holding them in its position. Once it breaks that loose, now 
if you had the they fall but now then normally uh, the hydraulic system would take over and lock them in the down position couldn't do it there was no no hydraulic fluid uh, so we had to get down there and I couldn't do it by myself and Sergeant Dempsey was the one that he just looked he knew I had problems and so I went I just went like that and he came and we both we had to get on that thing and get down to one point and then it was real hard but both of us couldn't do it so I had to reach out to get it but he had to hold me by my hand I'm working one handed and he's keeping me from falling out the open bomb day with doors and okay. I, and I, I listen all of a sudden I got horribly horribly strong and, and he's holding me with, with one hand straining and you can see him he's working hard at it but I finally got it and got it locked that that that's what saved us right there.